Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's a nasty one here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Platypi franchise rebuild here in Super Mega Baseball 4, year number one. Last episode for the Platypi was the first doubleheader of the series, and we took on our division rivals, the Beebles, where we dropped the first game 4-6, to six, but then came back to rally in the second game 4-1 to one behind a nice, well-pitched, complete game from Rusty Nozzle, which surprised the hell out of everybody, including myself. Uh, with those without the the split there though, we are two and one. We're still tied for the division lead, and we're moving into our first non-conference matchup of the series. It is against the Moon Stars at home, and this is also our first home game here in the series. On the on for the three and zero Moon Stars, it is their number four Dern Wonderfloss, no record. A crossed up trade is his, what he's bringing to the table, and for us, it's going to be our number four, which is long reliever Rufus Zumar, who also has crossed up bringing that to the table. And Zumar is the better pitcher. But he's only a long reliever, so the most I'm going to get out of him is maybe 70 pitches before he decides to crap the bed and go to sleep. So, yeah, that's going to be uh, that's going to be tough to pitch around that. But we also may have our first roster moves of the series after this game. You know, going four games, I wanted to give everyone a chance to get in there and get some playing time. I think we've successfully done that with everybody except maybe Kerry Cartman, who's only had one at bat. Same with Rodriguez, but it is what it is when the guys that they're behind are actually playing really well. Lineup we're using, leading off at second base, is going to be Kitty Kaufman, followed by center fielder Willie Bacon, who is tense. Right fielder Buffing Studwick is batting third. Batting fourth is locked in third baseman B. Cake McStevens. Batting fifth, locked in left fielder Roy Crowds. Batting sixth is shortstop Charlie Lopez. Batting seventh is first baseman Scooter Sandbrick. Batting eighth is catcher Tugboat Thomas. And batting ninth is the pitcher Rufus Sumar. I actually want to move Willie Bacon down in the lineup here. And I also want to move Rory Crowds up a little bit because Rory's been hitting really well. So I want Muffin to go to the number two. I want Rory to move up to the three. Willie's beef cake's still going to be the four. And then I'm going to put Scooter Sandbrick. No, I don't want him up that high. He's got RBI zero. Charlie Lopez is going to be the number five. Willie Bacon's going to be the number seven. Sandbrick will be the sixth. And Thomas will be the eighth with Zumar batting number nine. Uh, and the mat team we're going to be playing here is the Moon Stars. On leading off in left field is going to be Gustav Gustavson. Batting second is shortstop Nance Tools. Batting third is third baseman Herbert Hackman. Batting fourth locked in second baseman rookie Testy Osteroni. Batting fifth locked in first baseman Rusty Bustam. Batting sixth right fielder Dale Nail. Batting seventh is locked in catcher Boo Lewis. Batting eighth is tenth center fielder Wendy Wheels. And batting ninth is the pitcher Dern Wonderfloss. Looking at the Moon Stars bench, they still have Luster, Venicio, Buff, Gobbleson, and Slaps, as well as uh, Clyde Oliver, all of them on the bench, because they chose to get the extra player, which was a hitter, instead of an extra pitcher like most clubs do. They went and grabbed Testy Osteroni. So, that's something they're going to do. In. Now, I'm not going to have them wear their alternates here. I'm actually not a big fan of the Moon Stars alternates. I'm all right with them. But uh, if I want to debut our alternate jerseys here in the series, I want to do it against a, uh, a team that actually has really good alternates to show off. So we're not going to be doing that here, but we are going to be having our first home game here in the series at Colonial Plaza. Let's get it on. Of course, the Moon Stars come in here at the beginning of every franchise. They are rotation aces. They put all their money into starting pitching. Their bullpen's non-existent. Their defense and speed are non-existent. Their offensive capabilities are all right, but you know, outside of hitting ratings, they can't run well. They don't play defense well, and they do not have a good bullpen. Once you get past their starting pitchers, you might be having a good time. Let's see if we can get it on here. Let's see if we can defend home turf for the first time here in the series. Leading off is tense left fielder Gustav Gustavson with fastball hitter active. It's Max Boosted as well. He's tense, hitting only one for eight here to start the season. Facing left-hander Rufus Zumar, who is a long reliever, so do not expect him to go deep in ball games unless he gets like a couple three-pitch innings or something like that. Oh, he's a righty. Never mind. <laughs> Heater down and then strike called on one. You can see how long it's been since I've had Zumar on any roster of mine. I can't even remember if he's right-handed or left-handed. Curveball's away. That's outside. One and one. Slider middle in, that's fouled back by Gustavson, 1-2. Work ball away, chop back to the mound, Zumar fields it cleanly, in time to first, one down. Next up, shortstop Nance Tools, hitting 333, one RBI here on the year. Tools batting three for nine on the season. Get her up and in, that's a strike, go one. Work ball down in the way, fouled off, 0-2. Using her up and away. Chased it, strike three. First punch out of the year for Zumar. Two down. Now to bring up third baseman Herbert Hackman. Herbert Hackman. 
hitting 091 in the air with one RBI. One for 11 here in, on the season for Hackman. Well down and in, fouled off, 0-1. Fire down the way, check swing strike, 0-2. Chase him roughing in. Chased it, strike three. Back to back K's for Zumar. He ends the inning one, two, three. Bottom one, Kaufman, Studwick, and Crowds do up first against Wonderfloss. Good start for Rufus. Leading off for today is locked in second baseman Kitty Kaufman with bad ball hitter active, hitting 538. Three RBIs here on the season as she'll be facing left hander Dern Wonderfloss, the number four pitcher in the Moon Stars rotation. Durr is a pretty good junk baller. He's got above average junk, about average accuracy, average velocity, but his accuracy is non-existent, and he's on the older side. He is 37, so this is probably the best he's ever going to get. <laughs> Heater inside on the first one, misses ball one. He also has crossed up, which, you know, is an increased chance of the catcher dropping the ball on every pitch. I believe on medium boost it is 3%, yes. Missed outside with the slider. 2-0 count to Kaufman here. Slider middle of the plate, blasted by Kaufman to the left of center, but that is an easy sky ball for Windy Wheels. He's under it, and that's the first out. Right fielder Muffin Studwick up next, getting the start over O'Wugliams out there. Studwick hitting 400 on the season with a fastball hitter trait active. He's, I believe he's hitting four for 10. Curveball, but then that's a strike, 0 one Heater away, way outside, one and one Cutter middle of the plate, grounded the short, easy play for Tools. Two down. Next up going to be left fielder Rory Crowds, who's locked in hitting 778 here with four RBIs. He's also got inside pitch active. Slider middle of the plate hangs at the top of the zone, lined into the gap right center field. That is going to be extra bases for Crowds. Wheels giving chase will get it in, but it is a two-out double for Rory. So put himself in scoring position here for Beefcake McStevens. McStevens locked in, left fielder hitting 538 with a homer, three RBIs, sorry, third baseman. Power versus lefty and high pitch active. <laughs> I was definitely looking at the power versus lefty trait and said left field. Wow, okay. Ooh, you're challenging him high. Thankfully it was out of the zone, ball one. Hater top of the zone, line to right field that is down for a base hit. Nail gets to it quickly, coming around third is Crowds. Here's the throw, it is cut. That is a RBI single for McStevens. One, nothing, plat up high. Next up, going to be shortstop Charlie Lopez, hitting 417, five RBIs here on the season. Slider up, that's high, ball one. Cutter at the top of his own line at the middle, that's a base hit for Lopez as he'll dump that into center. First and second now with two down as the plat up high's two out rally continues. That's three straight two out hits and that'll bring up first baseman Scooter Sandbrick who unfortunately has RBI zero. Batting only one for three in the season. Sandbrick's had one start this year. He went 0 for 2 in said start and was pulled for a pinch hitter. Uh, he's come off the bench he is, as a pinch hitter. He's one for one. Cutter down and then that's a strike at the knees. Nice pitch from Wonderfloss, 0-1. Peter inside, whiff laying on it late, 0-2. Here down the way, dumped in the hole to short, backhanded by Tools on the bare hand, fires the first in time, and that ends the inning. One home, though, for the Platypie on the single by McStevens to the second. Osteroni busts them and nail, do up against Zumar. Second baseman Ricky Testy Osteroni leading off the second. He's locked in. Injury prone is active, but he's hitting uh, 250 here on the season with one solo homer. Hitting pretty well as of late, it appears. He's up and away in the first one. Line down the hard to second. Diving Kaufman to her right. Nice pick. In time to first one down. Nice play, Kitty. Next up, first baseman Rusty Buston. He's locked in. Hitting 333 with a homer. Two RBIs here on the year for the 19-year-old. Throw ball down in the way. Ground in the line hard past the third baseman, Nick Stevens. That is a base hit. That's the first hit of the day for the Moon Stars. Runner on with one down here for right fielder Dale Nail. Hitting 250 on the year. Does not have Ace Exterminator active here as Zumar is not one of the elite pitchers here in the league. Only a B plus, I believe. Not an A minus. You have to be A minus or higher to activate that trait. Heater up and in. High and tight. Ball one. Work ball down in the way. That's a strike at the knees. Nice pitch. One and one. Work ball down and in. Chased. Fouled back by Nail. One and two. 
One two pitch, slider up and away. High, two two. Use him down and in. Foul back. Count remains at two two. Force him down and away. Fouled off on the other side. Nail staying alive. Fork ball middle in. Whiffed on its strike three. Third punch out there for Zumar. Two down in the inning. Here's catcher Boo Lewis. He's locked in, hitting 385 on the year with the homers, seven on the eyes. Looking to keep it going with the two-out rally. Two-seamer inside, off the plate, ball one. Four-seamer up and away. That's a strike, one and one. Nice pitch, Rufus. Slider away. Whiffed on it, one, two. Curveball down and in. Whiffed on it, strike three. Fourth punch out already for Zamar. He sets down two more with the K. Bottom two. It's one nothing still. Bacon, Thomas, and Zumar. Bottom of the Platypi lineup. Do up against Wonderfloss here in the second. Trying to build on this lead. Willie Bacon leading off. Center fielder's tense. Hitting only 167 to start the year. I believe that's a two for 12. Or one for six, depending on how it looks. He's tense. Is it two for 12? It is two for 12, I believe. Yep, two for 12. Come on, Willie. Outside pitch active here. Eater up and in, strike call to one. Furball inside, off the plate, good take, one and one. Slider down and then is chased off the plate, fouled back thankfully, one and two. Slider away is dumped into right center field and that is going to be down for a base hit. Bacon got a pitch where he wanted it and he serves it back into the outfield for a leadoff single. Leadoff man on in the second, here's Tugboat Thomas, the catcher, hitting four for nine on the air with an RBI. Big man looking to come through. Slider up and away, strike call, 0-1, nice pitch, nice pitch. Curveball down, taken low, good eye, 1-1. One one. Cutter up, lined into center field, center top of the zone, and Thomas reacts. Two on, none down, coming to the plate is the pitcher, Zumar, in this obvious bunting situation. Zumar has bunt shown as the infield's playing the bunt. Takes a curveball way high out of the zone as he pulled back on it, 1-0. Bunt dropped down in front of the mound. Lewis fields it cleanly. He has to take the out of first. Sacrifice is successful. One down, two in scoring position for Kaufman, who's 0 for 1 today. He is locked in, though. Kitty flew out the center her first time up. Wonder Floss still tense after already giving up five hits here so far. Cut her up in there at the top of the zone, 0 1. Curveball down, taken low, 1 on 1. Good eye, good eye. Curveball middle of the plate, cracked the center field, hit well. Windy wheels tracking backwards. Makes the catch for the second out as both runners tag. And they both will advance safely. Sack fly for Kaufman. It's 2 0 Platypi. Runner at third, two down for Studwick, who's overwhelmed with the ground at the shortstop. Fastball hitter still active. Wonder Floss remain tense. Slider in there, middle in, strike call to one. Heater down and in, jammed on the ground at first. Backhanded by Buston, he'll take it himself. That'll end the inning. Glad if I get one home on the uh, sack fly by Kaufman. 2 0 to the third. Wheels, Wonderfloss, and Gustavson do up. Windy Wheels leading off. Center fielder Tense here, batting in the eighth slot today. Tense, easy target active as well to boost the accuracy of Zamar, which is already pretty high to begin with. Uh, batting 333 on the air with an RBI. So, more often, um, if I had to guess, he probably made an error or dropped the diving catch. Peter away. That's lined at the middle of the short. Diving Lopez out of his reach. It's a base hit into the gap. Left center. Bacon tries to cut it off and misses it as it rolls almost to the fence. That is going to be a leadoff double for the speedy Windy Wheels. He's back to neutral mojo, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Wonderfloss. We'll see if he bunts him over. He's tense currently. Peter up and in. Bunt is shown. Pulled back. Ball one. Two zimmer up and away. Bunt shown. Pulled back. Strike called. One on one. Peter up and in, bunch. Runner goes, throw down to third by Thomas, just laid. Steal, good steal by Windy Wheels as he just gutted that one out. Windy's second steal of the year, he's two for two. One two count here to uh, Wonderfloss. We'll see if he continues the bunt or if he'll swing. Is he moving away? Taken outside, two two. Well down and in, fooled him as he's out in front of it, strike three. Fifth punch out for Zumar, one down. Third. Never mind. Gustafsson up next. Left fielder's tense. RBI zero active now, as well as fastball hitter. He's 0 for 1.
slider at the knees on the first pitch. Strike called. It crossed up the catcher. Runner coming home. Flipped to the plate, and Wheels got a little too aggressive. He's caught in a rundown. Good job by Thomas to get to that wild pitch. Or, well, the crossed up pitch, I should say. McStevens will tag him out between third and home, and that is the second out of the inning. Nobody on. Two down now. 0-1 count to Gustavson, who loses RBI zero, but still is fastball hitter. Ball down and in. Line to right field, sinking quickly. Studwick in, will not get there. It's a base hit. Two out single keeps the inning alive as Gustafson gets back to neutral mojo. Here's Nance Tools, who's 0 for 1. Peter away on the first pitch, foul back, a 1. He's in ripping in. Check swing strike called, 0 2. Fork ball down below the knees. Chased it, strike three. Picked by Thomas. Fires the first in time. Sixth punch out already for Zumar. Bottom three, it's 2-0. Crowds, McStevens, and Lopez. Heart of the lineup coming up for the Platypi. Solid pitching so far for Rufus. He's only given up three hits so far, and he's gotten a runner thrown out between third and home. He's also struck out six of the nine outs he's gotten today. So Pitch him really well. Just hope his pitch count's in a good position. Crowds leading off, doubled his first time up, and then scored in the first inning on a single. Curveball middle in, ripped foul. Out in front of it, it was Rory. He was looking for a heater. 0-1. Oh, Slider for an in, hard grounder to second, right at Osteroni, who fields it cleanly. One down. Next up, McStevens. One for one with an RBI knock today. Both his traits remain active here. Heater up and away, check swing. Caught the outside corner. Nice pitch, 0-1. Oh, Heater checked outside. Good hold. One and one. Heater middle of the plate. Fouled back. Will it get out of play? Nope. Lewis is there. He'll put it away. Two down. It just stays in the park. Two down. Lopez up. Base is empty. He's locked in. One, one with a single. Cutter up and away is outside. Ball one. Slider checked away. Good hold. 2-0. Slider hangs. Top of the zone. Line back up the middle. It's a base hit for Charlie. He's 2-2 two two today. That'll keep the inning alive with two down. Gotta bring up Scooter Sandberg, who's over one today with a ground out. <laughs> Pardon me, Jesus, that was wild. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> two down. First pitch to Sandberg. Curveball misses the inside corner. Ball one. Cutter right there, middle of the knees. One one. Cutter at the knees again. Ripped to right field. That's a base hit for Sandbrick. Digging around second is Lopez. He's going to try and advance the third. Throw comes the second. Holding Sandbrick to just a single. Runners at the corners. Two down now for Willie Bacon. Willie singled his first time up and scored in the second inning. Outside pitch active. He's still 10. So he's going to try and bring him home. Cutter down and in is off the plate and little low. 1-0. Peter away. Dumped to right center over the leaping glove of Osteroni. It's a base hit. Bacon drives in Lopez from third. It's 3 0 Platypi. Willie back to Nutramojo. Nice job. Talk about Thomas up next. He's one for one with a single. And that'll do it for Der Wonderfloss. That is a quick hook. He goes two and two thirds. He's given up eight hits, three earned runs, and both runners on base. His responsibility is he'll leave tents. Coming out of the bullpen is reliever Taylor McWales. The A minus man has Rally Stopper and Durable active here, boosting his already impressive ratings. McWales, no record, a 0 ERA and an 0.75 whip. No earned runs given up here in two appearances, one save on the season. Inning in a third pitch, one hit surrendered, two strikeouts, and a batting average against a 167. Trying to get out of the jam here. First post to Thomas, heater inside at 103. 01, rally stopper is active. Heater up and away, chased it outside, 02. Curve ball away, pulled by Thomas to the gap left center field. That is going to split the fielders, and that is going to get down. Cut off by Wheels. It is going to get at least one run home. Second runner is going to try it. Here's the relay throw from Tools. Late. Bacon scores. It's a two-run double here for Tugboat Thomas. Five, nothing pull of high. Rufus Zimbar is up next. He sack bunted his first time up, so no official at bat yet today. Let's see how he does. McWhale's tense, heater away, strike call at 0-1. He does lose the rally stopper trade. There's only one runner on base. Heater down and then is dumped to right field. That is going to be down for a base hit. Thomas coming to third. He will be held. Runners at the corners, two down. And that'll bring up Kaufman. 0 for 1 with the sack fly RBI last time up. She's also flown out, locked in today. McWhale's still tense, but rally stopper back active again. Heater at the letters, 0-1. 
Peter down is chased, chop foul, 0-2. Peter away, fouled off again. Good swing, Kitty. Staying alive, 0-2. Trouble down and then is dumped to left center field. That's going to be a tough play for Gustavson. He's not going to get there. It's down for a base hit. Throw coming the third is late. Double for Kaufman. It is 6 0 flat up high. Rally continues here. Studwick 0 for 2 with fastball hitter. Grounded out to short second base last time up. He's also grounded out to shortstop. Peter inside misses to Studwick. Ball one. Peter's inside. Strike called. One and one. Nice pitch. Curveball check low, good hold, 2-1. Peter up and away, fouled off on the right side, 2-2, two -two, a little late. Curveball the knees, sent by Stubbick to right of center, but that's going to hang up for wheels. He'll put it away to end the inning. Still the Platify strike for four as we knock Wonderfloss out of the game. He'll finish with five earned runs added to his tally. One off of Mick Wales as well, 6-0 to the fourth. Hackman, Osteroni, and Bustam do up part of the lineup here for the Moonstars. There's Hackman, he's 0 for 1 today in tense as Zumar is locked in. Work ball down, blasted deep to left field as Hackman wound up and he's going to blast that into the bullpen. That is a home run, a moon shot for the Moonstars as Hackman turns on a fork ball and puts it in the seats. First of the year for Herbert. That's some good strength too, that ball was away, he pulled that one. Moonstar's on the board. It is 6-1. Osteroni up. 0 for 1 today. Zumar no longer locked in. Forcing him in. Jammed him deep to left field. Crowds back to the warning track. Puts it away. One down. Bust him up next one for him with a single. Purple down and in. Strike call to the knees. 0-1. Receiver up and away. Boston fouls it back. 0 2. Slider down and away. Chased it. Fouled off. 0 2. Forcing him up and in. Checked. Ooh, he almost went at it. 1 2. Work ball down and away. Low in the dirt. Good eye. 2 2. Ball down and in. Chased and fouled back. Still 2 and 2. Receiver up and away. Foul back. Count remains at 2 2. Well, down in the way. Blasted the center on the line, but right at Willie Bacon. Two down. Now batting at the right field, number 16, Dale Nail. Next up, Dale Nail. He's over one today in tents. Get up in the way. Check swing strike. 0 1. Work ball down and in. Fouled back by Nail over the dugout, 0-2. Slide it down in the way. Blooped into right field, that is down for a base hit. The two-out single will keep the inning alive here for the Moon Stars in the fourth. That is going to bring up Boo Lewis, who's over one today and locked in. Peter up the way, taking high, ball one. Work ball down in the way. Line to third, right at McStevens. That ends the inning. Zumar does give up his first run of the season as uh, leadoff hitter Herbert Hackman blasts one out over the left field wall. It is a solo shot. 6-1 to the bottom of the fourth. Crowds, McStevens, and Lopez do up. There's Crowds, one for two with a double. Round of that last time up. Peter middle of the way, strike call, 0-1. Smart man. Peter at the knees, line back up the middle, but Crowds got to it that time. McWales, that is a leadoff single for the young outfielder. He's on at first with one down, the lead off the inning. Here's McStevens, one for two with an RBI single. Beefcake, I believe, grounded out last time up. Peter up, line to right field. That's a base hit for Beefcake. Two back-to-back -back singles to start the inning here for the Platypies. We're threatening again. Here's Lopez. He's two for two with two singles. Ice Exterminator now active. He's locked in. Infield a double play depth. Rally stopper active for McWales. Peter away, strike call, 0-1. Hit at the knees. Ooh, got around on it late. 0-2. Curveball away. Grounded the first. Right at Bustam to second. One. Tools the first. In time. It's a double play. Two down. Runner at third for Sandbrick. Who has RBI zero. One for two with a single today. We'll try and get through it. McWales does lose rally stopper though. Right down the middle. In there at the knees. 0-1. Heater down the middle. Sandbrick gets around on it to left center. But he got under it off the end of the bat. Therefore, McWheels to end the inning. 
So we strand runner at third. First inning, we don't score so far today. To the fifth, it's 6-1. Wheels, McWheels, and Gustavson do up. Zumar is going to try and get through the fifth and earn the win. These long relievers generally can go about 60 pitches before it gets a little dicey, so he's already at 49. Here's Windy Wheels, one for one the double. Unless he's locked in, then you know it's a different story. Maybe we can get 65. Curveball up and away in the first one. That's pulled down the right field line, but out of play. Oh, one. Where's him ripping in? Ha, one and one. Good eye. Teasing me down and in. Chased it inside, one and two. Teasing me down and away. Or a slider down and away. Chased it outside, strike three. Seventh punch out for Zumar. One down. Here's the pitcher slot, McWales. Pinch hitting for him. Nobody. He's going to bat. All right. First to bat of the year for McWales. Two-seamer up. Checked high. Ball one. Four-seamer up and away. Blew it by him. One, one. Two-seamer up. Foul back. One and two. Fork ball down. Chased. Grounded the second. Coughlin charges. Throws the first. In time. Two down. Base is empty for Gustavson. One for two with a single today. First pitch curveball hangs inside. Ball one off the plate. Slider been away. Check swing strike. One and one. Work ball down and in. In the dirt. Two one. Or should be down in the way. Foul off. Two two. Slider up. Way high. Three two. Work ball inside. Chased and fouled off. Count remains full. The ball hangs. Line to right field. Coming in Studwick on the slide. Nice catch. That ends the inning. Way to go, Muffin. One, two, three inning for Zumar as he is through the fifth and qualified for the win. Bottom five. It's Bacon, Thomas, and Zumar do up. I'll check Zumar, see if he's locked in. If he is, he'll bat. If not, he's out. Here's Bacon. Two for two. Two singles and an RBI today. Outside pitch active still for Willie. Zumar is not locked in, so he is done here after five innings of work. There's no way I'm setting him back out for the sixth. He's gassed. He's done. Ooh, Huckster is juiced. Keep that in mind for later. Okay. All right, Willie, let's get it on. Peter Way is popped up over second. Back toward Osteroni to put it away. One down. Next up, Thomas. Two for two with a two-run double last time up. He's also singled. Locked in here. Peter High taken. Ball one. Peter middle the plate, line to right center, hit hard, but Wheels runs it down and hung up too much. Two down. Zumar do up next. He'll finish the day one for one with a single and a sack bunt. Five quality innings here today from Rufus. He gives up five hits, one run on a homer, and he strikes out seven. Not bad. If you weren't a long reliever, you could probably go for the quality start, but unfortunately you are, and that sucks. Still, nice pitching, Rufus. Nice pitching. We off the bench to take a crack at it here. We're going to go ahead and hand it over to. We're going to give it to backup middle infielder Kerry Cartman as he'll take over. Kerry 0 for 1 as a pinch hitter this season. Heater up, strike call, the 1. Nice pitch from Taylor. Heater up and in is high inside as well, 1 and 1. Triple down and in is Chase, pulled up the third base line. Fair ball over the bag. Hackman there, gets him at first. That ends the inning. And it's a 1 2 3 inning here for McWales. Coming out of the bullpen. We're going to go ahead and hand it over here to Hugh Jacobs as he'll take over to the sixth. It's 6 1. Tools, Hackman, and Osteroni do up. Tools up 0 for 2 today facing Hugh Jacobs. Hugh cleared on opening day where he threw an inning scoreless. No hits given up, no walks, and no strikeouts. Batting average against of zero. Curveball down on the way. Chased it outside and low. 0 1. Pushing up and away. Fouled off, 0 2. Slider down and in. Inside, just missed the corner, 1 2. Pushing up and in. Jammed her to left center field. Bacon coming over. Willie's there, 1 down. Next up, Hackman. Solo homer last time up. So far, it's the only run on the board. He's 1 for 2. Slider down and in. Strike called, 0 1. Four-seamer away. Lined over second. Kaufman leaps out of her reach. It's down for a base hit. Cut off by Studwick in the gap. Our Hackman's two for three today. 
He's on at first for Osteroni, who's over two. Of course, he's ripping in on the first one. High, ball one. Curveball away, outside, 2-0 from Jacobs. Slider at the knees away, check swing strike, 2-1. Of course, he's down and in. Chopper to short, right at Lopez, a charge, flip the second one, cough into first, double play, love to see it as that ends the inning. Bottom six, it's six to one. Kaufman, Sudwick, and Crowds do up. There's Kaufman, one for two with a two run double earlier in the game. Or er, RBI double earlier in the game. She also had a sack fly and flown out, 1 0. Heater down at the knees, low, 2 0. Heater away, fouled back from McWales, 2 1. Heater up and in, pulled to the gap left center field. That's going to be extra bases for Kaufman as that's going to roll all the way to the fence. Giving Chase Gustavs and he'll get it in. It is a leadoff double, though, for the speedy Kaufman. Leadoff woman in scoring position here for Studwick. He's 0 for 3 today, though. And that'll do it for Taylor McWales. Coming out of the bullpen, long reliever, Def Wedhams, making his season debut. Wedhams is about an average pitcher on paper. His accuracy is good. Junk and velocity are both below average. And he has elite curveball and the metalhead trait. So if he gets a line drive back to his dome, it's max boosted. He will always instantly recover for a comebacker to the head and will not receive a penalty for it. So he can get hit in the head as many times as he wants. He will never suffer a concussion. Allegedly. <laughs> That's what the medical records show. Mason Studwick is 0 for 3 today. Slider misses outside. Ball 1. Slider up. That misses high. 2-0. Good hitters count for Studwick. Curveball down and in is low. 3-0. Looking for a heater. Curveball low, misses ball four. That is a four pitch walk. Stubwick on, two on, none down for Rory Crowds. Two for three with a double and a single today. Inside pitch active. Still locked in as well. Peter Middleton turned on by Crowds on the line to left. Off the wall, it's extra bases for Rory. Kaufman scores. Holding it third is going to be Studwick. 7 1 Platypi on the double by Rory. His first RBI today. Now to bring up Beefcake McStevens. Two for three, two singles, and an RBI. That was almost a home run. I want to debut the home run call for these guys, but we haven't hit a home run yet. <laughs> we had one, and that was last episode. And we hadn't really settled on a home run call yet. But I have one now, so I'm hoping it works. High pitch active. Heater up, lined in the hole to right. Diving is Osteroni to knock it down. Infield single for McStevens. Runner scores. It's 8-1. to one. Runners at the corners for Lopez. Two for three with two singles. Wedham's now tense. Heater away. Blasted to right center field. It pretty well. Over four at his wheels. He'll run it down for the first out. Tagging a third is Crowds. It's going to be a sack fly for Charlie. Nine, one, plot up high. Hey, one boy. How's it going, buddy? How's it going? Uh, I believe it's called losing. <laughs> what are the Moonstars doing? Uh, they're losing and they're getting dominated as well. They have done nothing so far today. But welcome in, buddy. Hopefully your day's been going well. It's probably been going a lot better than the Moonstars day. <laughs> Zambrick up next. He's had one hit today. Slider up and in on the first pitch. Sky to left center. Wheels over. That's going to be the second out of the inning. Going to bring up Willie Bacon. Two for three. Two singles and an RBI. Number 28, Willie, Willie popped out the second last time up. Straight. Curveball in there at the knees. 0-1. Nice pitch. Peter inside, off the plate, 1-1. One one. Peter inside, still misses, 2-1. Slider away, blasted by Bacon, deep to right field. Back forward at the warning track is Nail, he'll put it away, and that'll end the inning. Three home, though, in the inning for the Platypi as we break it open even further. 9-1 to the seventh. Bust them, Nail, and Lewis do up as Jacobs enters his second inning of work here out of the pen. We got five innings out of Zumar today, giving up one run on a homer to Herbert Hackman. There's Rusty Bustum, one for two with a single today. He's still locked in. Slider down at the knees. Low, ball one. Heater down and in. Checked inside, 2 0. Curveball down in the way. Checked, strike called at the knees, 2 1. Slider up and away. Line to first. Stanbrick picks it, one down. Next up, Dale Nail. Singled last time up. He's one for two. Boys in the other way. Foul back. 0-1. Oh, Slotted down and in. 
Line on the ground and hard to second. Backhanded by Kaufman to her right on to first. Two down. Solid start. Here's Boo Lewis. 0 for 2 with rally starter. Still locked in. Ball down and in. Low ball one. Slider down and away. Strike called. 1 and 1. Meter up and away. High. 2 1. Ball down and in. Checked. Oh, Chase actually fouled back. 2 2. Forcing up and in. Foul back and jammed him 2 2. Slider down and away. Check low and away. 3 2. Full count offering on the way. Curveball hangs at the letters. Sky ball to center field. Willie Bacon to his left, calling for it. Now running back a few steps, makes the catch to end the inning. Good pitch from Hugh. Bottom seven. It's 9 1. Thomas, Jacobs, and Kaufman do up. Probably going to pinch it for Jacobs. He's probably gassed. Two innings is kind of his max. Here's Thomas, two for three today. Two run double earlier. He's also singled. Locked in. Wedham's back to neutral mojo. Peter Way lined at the middle on the first pitch. It's a base hit. Thomas puts up his third hit of the day. He's on to lead off the seventh. And now to bring up the pitcher, Jacobs, who is coming out after two scoreless innings of relief work. Nice job, Hugh. Pinch hitting off the bench here. We're going to go ahead and give it to... Going to give it to outfielder Linda Hand. Linda hitting one for five off the bench this year. Nah, we're going to save Sky. I definitely feel like I'm going to have to pinch hit again. <laughs> She's got the next one. She's got the next one. <laughs> we need a bomb. I'll think about it. <laughs> Linda up, batting 500 or 200. Slider inside off the plate. Ball one. Popped her up behind second. Osteroni going out for it. Rookie puts it away. One down. Like the Bulls are calling it. You can't tell me otherwise. You're probably right. <laughs> Kaufman up next, two for three today, two doubles, two RBIs. She is locked in. Bad ball hitter active still. Curve ball away, strike call, 0-1. Curve ball down and then blasted by Kaufman, the left center, carrying well. Going after it is wheels. He'll run it down at the warning track. What range from Windy. Two down. Next up, Studwick, 0 for three today with a walk. Fastball hitter active for Muffin. And I've got a phone call. Hold on.
Alrighty, and we're back. Damn dog was barking again, <laughs> so I had to go bring his ass in. Alright, back to it. Two down, runner at first for Studwick, who is 0 for 3 today with a walk. Slider away, misses from Wedham's, ball one. Peter down and then hit up the middle, past the diving shortstop into center, it's a base hit. Nice job, Muffin, two on, two down. That's going to bring up Rory Crowds. Three for four day for Rory, he has doubled twice, driving in a run and singled. Heater up and away, off the catcher's glove, runners advancing. Lewis's throw to third is laid. Both runners are safe. 1-0 count after the wild pitch. The ball down on the way, just in there at the knees. What a pitch, 1-1. One one. Third ball away, pulled the left center field, hit pretty well, but that is going to hang up there for wheels. That ends the inning. We're going to go ahead and make a defensive sub here. We're going to sub out Studwick here. We're also going to bring in out of the bullpen. What are we in the seventh, I believe? I believe so. We're going to hand it over to Chance Lauterbury here as he's going to take over on the mound. Studwick coming out, and we're going to put Linda Hand in right. Top eight, it's nine to one. Wheels, Wedems, and Gustafsson do up. Here's Wendy Wheels, one for two with the double. He's tense. Chance Lauterbury also debuted uh, earlier on the season. He threw one inning, scoreless, giving up two hits, batting average against 500. Ball tower active for Chance. Peter away. Strike call, or one. Change up inside, misses to wheels, one and one. Slider down the way, foul off, one and two. Peter up and in, popped him up. Foul to play though, behind the plate, still one and two. Boys him ripping away, chased it, strike three. First punch out for Lauterbury, one down. Hold up, my guy, am I seeing this right? You might be. Do my eyes not deceive me? Is that... Is that the man? <laughs> the myth, the legend himself? <laughs> it is. It is the legend himself, Chance Lauterbury. <laughs> and Lawai. <laughs> perfect timing, perfect timing. <laughs> Lucky, lackey luster pinch hitting here for uh, Def Wedhams. Reverse splits activates here for Lauterbury. Uh, Luster off the bench, hitting 333 on the air with a homer. Two RBIs. He was a coach's choice to sit on the bench today as they wanted um, Dale Nail out in right field. <laughs> hey, Macho, welcome in as well. Welcome in. Hope your day's going well. I nice see you guys. And you've immediately been dropped in in between them, too. Good job. First pitch change up down and away, taken low from Luster. Ball one. Heater away. Check strike. One and one. Slider down and in, taking low, 2-1. Change up inside. Pulled to left field, under it though. Crowds is there. Rory's going to put it away, two down. One by Nasty is good enough for the XBL now. <laughs> it's not been a fun season. Are you going to lose to Weaver or not, to be honest? Oh boy. Gustavsen up, a pass ball hitter active here. Slider down and in on the first one from Waterbury. Check swing strike, 0 1. Change it down and away. Just low, 1 and 1. Good eye. Slider up and away. Fouled off, 1 and 2. Change it down and away. Line to short. Lopez drops it. E6. Way to go, Charlie. You got a hole in that glove out there? God damn it. There's tools, 0 for 3. Yeah, just for that, I'm benching your ass. <laughs> yep, you're, you're getting benched. <laughs> He's coming out. Sky, grab a bat. <laughs> Tools up next as Lauterbury's got to pitch around that now. Heater down in the way, outside, ball one. Boys him up and in. That's a strike, one on one. Charlie's an old guy, give him a sec. Why, was his, br his brain uh, still buffering? Slider down and in, good block there from Thomas, 2-1. Boys him up and away. Check swing strike. It's 2 2. Change up down and away. Chop back to the plate. Foul. 2 2. Slider up and in. Chased and fouled back. We'll stay alive at 2 2. Boys him up and away. 
Pulled to left field hard. Very crowds chasing after it. He's there to end the inning. Nice pitching chance. Bottom eight. We're still up nine to one. Coming out of the bullpen for the Moonstars is their closer, Lil Bupton. Discombobulated. Discombobulated shoulder now. McStevens, Lopez, and Sandbrick do up. Beefcake leading off. Powerverse lefty is restored and the high pitch active again. Three for four. Three singles. Two RBIs today for Beefcake. Still locked in facing Lil Bupton. Bupton on the year, no record, a zero ERA and a one whip, one appearance, one inning, one hit, batting average against 250. Here we go. Go, Beefcake. Heater up and away. Ooh, tempting fate. Fouled off, 0 1. Heater up and in high, 1 1. Slider up and in, pulled to left center field. That is down for another base hit. Beefcake's fourth hit of the day. He's four for five. Lead off man on in the eighth. Charlie Lopez due up next. He's tense. Two for three with two singles and an RBI. Pinch hitting for him is going to be back up third baseman Sky Rodriguez. Contact for his lefties active here. Sky 0 for 1 as a pinch hitter. Come on, Sky. It's a short wall. Like we haven't gotten a bomb yet. You're right, we haven't. Slider away. Pop! They're up. <laughs> Fell back. Therefore, it is. Uh, what's his name? Lewis, one down. Charlie and Chance sit around the camp and go about talking about the old good old days. <laughs> Here's Sandbrick, one for the single. Slider away, strike call, 0 1. They probably do. I mean, they are old enough to say that. That's outside on the slider ball, one. Sky high, decent movie, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hell, half, most of this team probably does that. I mean, you saw how old we are. Heater inside, strike called, one and two. I would throw Remington Sharp in there as well. Let's see, going by ages, we got time. We're blowing them out here. Uh, let's see, Thomas is not old enough. Chase the Bull is definitely doing that. So is Sandbrick. Uh, Cartman, we'll put him in there. Why not? He's old enough. Lopez. Studwick, yeah, throw him in. Uh, who else is on there? Let's see. Uh, Lauterbury, of course. Sharp. That's it. Okay. We got a pretty good amount. Too busy waxing his mustache. <laughs> Heater up and in inside. 2 2 count the sand brick. Slider up is Chase. Line to third. Right at Hackman for the second out. And we are going to double off McStevens. I thought that was down. To the ninth. It's 9 to 1. Hackman, Osteroni, and Bustam do up. All right. Sky go to third. Beefcake go to short. Do I have anybody else who can play first? Uh, Rory Crowds can. That's it. Okay. Yeah, we're stuck. We'll stick with that. All right, Lottaburry, you think you can handle this? You're locked in. Go get him. All right, Hackman's got the only run on the board for the Moon Stars today. He had a homer back in the third inning, I believe. Fourth inning. Peter down, in there, middle of the zone at the knees. 0-1. Change up and away. High, 1-1. One one. Slide it down and in. Line to second, one hopper. Picked by Kaufman. On to first, one down. Sky field, it makes me feel some sort of way. I know, we're at, well, see, I already pinch, I always, already used Perry Cartman as a pinch hitter, so I kind of handicapped myself there. And I pinch hit for uh, Stud, I subbed out Studwick earlier as well, so. Took away my other first baseman. Crowds is just way too low fielding for first base. I need Sandbrick over there. All right, Asteroni, what do you got for me? You're no longer locked in. Heater up and away. Check swing strike, 0-1. Oh Slider down and in. Strike call, 0 2. Change it down and away. Low, 1 and 2. Heater up and in. High and tight, 2 2. Slider up and away. Way high, 3 2. Full count offering, heater inside. Grounded to first. Sandbrick charges. He'll take it himself. Two down. That'll bring up Bustam, one for three with a single. Where is Kara Kawaguchi when you need her? Uh, still, you know, splitting time at third base over on the Sandcats. <laughs> Reverse splits active against Bustam here as Lotterbury looking for the two-out, two-inning hold here to end the game. Slider down and the way is low, ball one. Peter up it in. Line to right center field, over for at hand. She'll be watching that drop. It's in for a base hit. Game will continue here for the Moon Stars with two down in the ninth. As Slaughterbury down in neutral, here's Dale Nail. One for three with a single. 
Body down in the way in the first one. Strike call, 0-1. Change of up and away. Grounded the second, coughing over, backhands on to first in time, and that ends the game. Platypie crushed the Moonstars today at home in our home opener. We win 9-1 to one without hitting a home run, I might add. It's the one thing this team does well. It does not hit a home run. GG's, thank you, thank you. The fact that Chance went off is insane. I know, same with Jacobs, too. They both had two great, two scoreless innings apiece. Like, that was amazing. Very unlikely. It'll probably never happen again. <laughs> At least in the same game. Hackman won scoreless. He had this solo homer. Was the only run on the day for the Moonstars. He had a combined total of seven hits. For us, everybody got a hit today except uh, Rodriguez off the bench, as well as Kerry Cartman and Linda Hand. Basically, all the pinch hitters failed to get on base. Uh, we had two RBIs from Kaufman, one on a sack fly, one on a double. Rory Crowds had an RBI double. Beefcake McStevens had two RBI singles. Charlie Lopez had an RBI single as well. And Willie Bacon had an RBI single. And Tugboat Thomas had a two-run double. Pitching lines, Wonder Floss, two and two-thirds, eight hits, five earned runs. He falls to 0-1. McWales, two and a third innings, six hits, two earned runs. Jeff Wedham's two innings, four hits, two earned runs, a walk. And Bupton, one inning, one hit. Zumar, five innings, he gets the win. Five hits, one earned runs, seven strikeouts, one homer. If he was not a long reliever, I could have gotten a quality start out of him. But he's a long reliever, and that just sucks. He's 1-0 and on the year. Hugh Jacobs, two scoreless innings, one hit given up. And Lauterbury, two innings, one hit given up, one strikeout. Not bad, Chance. Not bad. Kara is pretty good, too, but she does regress quicker now. They aged her up, unfortunately, from what she was in SMB3, which is a shame, too. She was a quality third baseman. Talk about Thomas, the player of the game, with his three-hit day and two RBIs, followed by Rory Crowds with his three-hit day and an RBI, and two runs scored, and Kitty Coffin with her two-hit day, driving in two total runs. Wait, she is 29 now. Yep. She used to be, what, 23? 24? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, they ruined her. Now, she didn't quite get the Guns Jackman treatment, but she's up there now. It's always low, but it's always so easy to grab. <laughs> oh, you got a screenshot? Okay, feel free. Media's asking who you thought didn't earn their keep in today's game. Uh, Rodriguez is still younger than Cartman, so Cartman's going to eat this one here. Plus, they're both bench players. It doesn't matter. All righty. Let's see. Any roster moves to report? Uh, that's going to be a no, folks. It looks like everybody's still in play. Ponderosa plus two fielding. That's it. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> We might be making our first roster moves of the series here, as uh, we probably could use... Uh, we are playing really well. We are 3-1 and one through four games. we got nine games to send through here, and we can check our player developments real quick before we make said roster moves. But yeah, the team is gelling really well right now, and I think if we make some roster moves, we might ruin that mojo. Uh, heaters get a win there, as they're up 2-2 two and two now in the year. Buzzards are going to beat the Grapplers in 11 innings, 7-1. to one. Thank you, Buzzards. I appreciate that. Buzzard's still perfect at 4-0. Moose beat the Hawk Warners there 6-4. Freebooters beat the Grass Eaters 5-1. Herbosaurs are still winless. You love to see that. You can see the Economy tab, sure. Sandcats beat the Sirloins 4-2. Overdogs beat the Crocs 8-6. Wild Pigs blew out the Blowfish 11-3. Sawteeth beat the Heaters in a pitcher stool 3-2. Final game, Wide Loads and B-Wolves here. Back and forth pitcher stool. Wide Loads edge them out to win 4-2. Okay, we have a half game lead on the Wide Loads. We're almost having a matching amount of followers to Ego. We're famous. <laughs> All right, this guy. I said in the chat how the hell to hit high velo. Go on. Just get good. <laughs> Let's see you get up on that 93. <laughs> Picture guns, Jackman. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Picture Jackman naked, splayed out on the love seat, wearing nothing but his cleats because it forces you to swing faster and earlier because you want to get the fuck out of that as fast as possible. <laughs> oh, that's gold. That's gold. That's funny. I like that. <laughs> Solid advice, Loi. Solid advice. Oh, Christ. That's, that's disgusting. Anyway...
Uh, so here's the economy tab. This is what we're getting right now. Uh, we have 14.9 available. We're earning about 465k uh, with 625,000 as well through each game. He cried himself to sleep that night. Okay. Yeah, so the economy is decent right now. So if we do make roster moves, I don't want to pay too much money for the players that I want because we don't want to lose that surplus because we're actually earning at quite a good rate right now because we don't have a lot of good player development opportunities at the current moment. I mean, outside of this for a Wuglims, which is actually really nice, I like this one. And this one for Cartman, I don't feel like upgrading a bench player that's already 34 and not going to get any better. Like, that's just kind of dumb. Uh, Shirley in the air, this is a decent upgrade, but it's not like a I need to have it kind of upgrade. It's nice. But she is 29. I got to remember, she's not going to get much better than this. Chase to bull. I don't feel like upgrading a backup catcher who's 37 that I'm probably going to end up getting rid of. Remington Sharp is 36. Again, don't want to upgrade a guy at the end of his career. Muffin Studwick. Again, 35 years old. Do I feel like upgrading this? Probably not. Time to get smoked by Weaver. All right, good luck, one boy. Hopefully you got it. All right. Studwick, yeah, like, these older guys, I don't feel like upgrading the, these are the only two I'm really considering, and I'm definitely going to grab this one for a Wugliams, this is just too easy to pass up, one power, one speed, one fielding, going for a bonus two, not going to get the two power, going for the bonus two speed, not going to get it either, unfortunately, but it was worth a shot, plus it was relatively cheap as well, so 83, not bad, loyalty goes up for a Wugliams, that's nice. In the air, this is only 3% chance to expire. We can wait on this at least one more game, build up those funds we just spent right back. All right, so let's look at roster moves. Do I want to sign anybody right now? Looking at the players that I have starred. First of all, let's look at player pitching position players. Cuffingham is only 200000 under what she has. I think if I can get her under 0.5 million, I'll gladly grab her. So I'm going to wait one more game on her. And I'm probably going to sign her to replace uh, probably Tabul because I haven't used him. I've used him one time. Uh, let's see. Duder El Dorino is below his asking price of 0.3. He's a C plus. I can probably push him past half a million below as well. So I'll wait on him. Probably grab him next time as well. Maybe cut either Linda Hand or... Yeah, it would probably be Linda Hand because I'm not, I'm, I'm not using her at all really either. But I also don't want to get rid of her and not have someone to play right field when we put a Wugliams behind the plate at catcher. Uh, Switch dude played in the XBL. Oh, he's one of the devs for SMB. No wonder I heard that name. Oh, jeez. Oh, gee, Rick. <laughs> and plus, Deuter Eldorino, yes, he's a solid backup, but I kind of want a young backup like Swolson or Butterfinger that I could bring in uh, just for when Sambrick starts to regress and get worse. So we don't need to get Deuter Eldorino. We have options, so I'm not pressed to go pick him up. Uh, Charlie Lopez is still doing well, and we got a while on Hans Slaperio, so no rush here. Uh, same with the other guys down here. No rush on their money. Ponderosa's close, but... He's backup level at best, and I'm not really worried about him. Blame on Tamale. He's the only all-star caliber guy, and I'm not buying them. Yeah, so we're not worried about that. Moving to pitching. Let's see. Fraga's pretty... We got a while on him. While on Sawyer. While on High Eye. Same with... Tacoby's close, but he's a C+. Plus. We could probably get him cheaper as well. So we can wait on him. Raconda... Goatman, Alonzo, Branch, Blinder, okay, Heimlich, Fluster, and Betta. None of them are anywhere near their price point, so we don't need we don't need to make any roster moves right now. Coding the refs to give him good calls, oh jeez. Alrighty, anyway. So let's preview next matchup, and then we're going to call it a day. I believe we are playing the Grapplers next. This is not a doubleheader. It is not, so it's just a one game. Next time out is going to be AVA, Ace Von Asen on the mound, 1-0 with a 129 ERA and a 171 whip. And on the mound for the Grapplers is the young Ace for Tonda Black, 0-1 with an 810 ERA and an 060 whip. Lineup we'll use for that game. It'll be Willie Bacon again leading off in center. Once again, tent. Not surprising. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, then we got Studwick, Crowds, McStevens, Kaufman, O'Wugliams, Sandbrick, and Lopez. Okay, we're going to flip this lineup around, folks. 
Number one, we're going to have Kitty Coffin bat lead off because that's where she belongs. Uh, we are going to have Studwick bat two again, even though he didn't get a hit today. He only got one hit today. Uh, Crowds is going to be the three. McStevens is the four. We're going to have a Wugliams is the five. I'll have Bacon bat seventh. You know what? I'll still have Charlie bat sixth, even though he's tense, because I want Sambrick as far away from RBI opportunities as possible. I want him above Bacon, though. He's still a better hitter than Bacon, so we'll put Willie in the eight slot. All right. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Platypie Pi win big today against the Moonstars, 9-1 to one the final in our home opener. We're now 3-1 and one on the year, and we're looking pretty good here one-eighth of the way through the season, but it is still early. Things can still fall apart, or things can continue to build upwards in a good fashion. We'll just have to see how things work out. Stick around, guys, if you want to, because coming up next here on Twitch, it is going to be the f next episode of the Free Agent Franchise Rebuild, so tune in for that. It's still rather early tonight, so hope you guys get a little treat and have another stream. Uh, but on YouTube, that's going to do it for me tonight, guys. Uh, quick shout-outs to the guys who stopped in, One Boy, Loai, and Macha. Thanks for always chatting with me, guys, and I hope that you guys stick around for the next episode. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Until then, this is The Nasty One, signing off. Have a wonderful day, evening, or afternoon, wherever you guys may be.